Welcome back. If you didn't already know, Venus is the goddess of love, art, beauty, and joy. So it makes sense that that planet will actually help determine our self-worth within relationships. Astrologer Quan Tracy Cherry is joining me now to explain exactly what that means. Welcome, Belinda. Glad to be here with you today. And Venus, what most people don't understand is that the sun sign is just one aspect, that birth mm -hmm. date. And you, you are Leo, so that's fire. But Venus can be, when you're Leo, Venus can be two signs ahead, and in your case, it's in Gemini. So your sense of self-worth in relationships is through words of affirmation and communication and reporting and really, and even holding. Are you a hand holder? You like, if you're out and about, you like I, I think my producer would say I'm a hand holder, like move me to this place, move me to that <laughs> one. But a lot of times, Venus and Gemini people communicate through words and through the use of their hands as okay. well. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense, and I also like how the aspect of astrology is playing on the senses of love, like words of affirmation, that's yes. important to everyone. Yeah, those languages of love, and some, like say if your Venus was in Cancer, it might be, you might need touch more. So it's, it's just important to understand how you choose your relationships, which is different than just the sun sign, mm -hmm. just the identity space of it. And that makes so much sense. So what other aspects is Venus going to play on? So we've talked about words of affirmation and touch, but anything else that people might need? Well, let's say that you have an earth element, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You might mm -hmm. show your love through acts of service, through oh. actually doing things for others. And touch is really important to people who have more an earthy dimension. And I brought up Venus this time because of the retrograde phenomenon mm -hmm. that most people have heard about Mercury retrograde, as you brought up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's kind of popping up in uh, culture today yes. in a lot of funny memes. Okay, I'm sorry what I did when Mercury was in retrograde. Well, you've heard the statement thrice Hermes. Well, Mercury and Hermes okay. are, is the same, Greek uh -huh. and Roman, and three times a year for approximately three weeks, Mercury is in retrograde. So we even say it in our culture not knowing that we're paying homage to this ancient wisdom in saying thrice Hermes or third time is the charm. Well, that makes so much sense. Now, also, how does the sun sign dictate, depending on its placement, mm -hmm. how Venus affects you? Well, the sun is, the, is basically the conductor of the planetary mm -hmm. orchestra. So Venus is another player. So she can okay. only be 48 degrees or so away from the sun. So you can't have Leo and then have Venus all the way over in Aquarius. Venus has to be close to the sun. So it's your identity and the way you love are merged together. And she goes retrograde on Friday, October the 5th. So from now, for the next five weeks, we're all kind of looking at her as this beautiful evening star in the sunset. And we're going to reevaluate what we value for those six weeks from October 5th to November 16th. So I tell people, all my clients, don't make major relationship decisions at this time. If you are buying something, make sure it's symbolic and wait mm -hmm. for maybe the price to shift on October mm -hmm. 5th, because Venus represents value. Uh, so if it's a great piece of art you want, it's a great time to do that. But it's a good time to reevaluate, why do I love the way that I do? And do I feel valued in this relationship and appreciate it? And how do you actually reevaluate? You step back, and uh, the coach said it earlier, you step back and you meditate or you contemplate, you, you have to have mm -hmm. an inner life. Okay. And, and just slowing down, 30 seconds, 60 seconds in a day, do I feel valued and appreciated? And words of affirmation, acts of service, and looking at those different languages of love to see how compatible or not you are with your partner. Okay, Quan, thank you so Great much. Great to meet you, Belinda, too. Bill?